What's up, mini truckers across the world? Ben here, that US mini trucks. We're trying to go to this farm. One of our customers, they've had the truck about two years and he said they never serviced it and now it won't start. So we're about to head over there. I got some spark plugs, I got some distributor cap and rotor, air filter, some oil filter, fuel filter, and we'll see if we can't get this thing started. I'm trying to drive there right now. I uh, kind of thought it was in a different spot, but it might look familiar when I get closer to it. Kind of this farming community. Everybody's here with the horses and the cows, and we're doing our thing with the mini trucks. We'll see if we can't see some wildlife, but the Subaru Sandbar, stay tuned. Write down in the comments if you think we can get it started, or since we're on a losing streak, then let me know if you think that we're gonna lose again. Okay, we're getting closer. I saw the, the name of the town. We're getting closer. That's what I remember it being off of a road, but I think it's off of this main road. So, oh, the other thing I brought is some throttle cleaner, throttle body cleaner, and carburetor cleaner. So I'm gonna, you know, plan to open up the intake and spray some cleaner in there. Really, that's all there is. So, we'll see what happens. The fuel pump perhaps could be not working, which uh, I don't have a fuel pump with me, but I just have to figure that out as we uh, get closer. What's up, uh, Mini Truckers? Ben here, that US Mini Trucks. We got the Subaru Sandbar. We're draining the fuel out of the tank. Some people got it sitting there too long and it's all stinky and nasty and cloudy fuel. So then I'm transferring it to here. And I got some fresh gas. So the tank pickup, and it's gonna be hard to see, is right here. And then it comes to the fuel filter and then it goes through the fuel pump. So we're just letting gravity drain it. You can see how cloudy the fuel is. Let me see. I'm pretty nasty looking. It smells terrible. And hopefully this will help. We'll keep you posted. I'll do a quick rock around of this one. This is how the people brought it to us. It's just all dirty. You gotta take better care of your stuff and it starts with the inside. I mean, look at this, never been washed. Like mold. Look at this. My wife was saying she wanted to wash it just so I could work on it because she knows I hate working on dirty stuff, but. things I had got there I went to their farm and tried to fix it there and I was like do you have any fresh fuel and the guy got it out of a tank a red plastic tank and he put it in and that fuel I mean who knows it could have been two years old because it was smelled spoiled too so if you smell real rotten smell you know what this this is the worst smelling fuel I've ever smelled I wasn't sure it was like what the hell it smells like cat urine so we're still straining it's getting slower let me show you if I can show you how cloudy. It's not very clear at all. Okay, I'll keep you posted. All drained out of there. It's totally not clear. Look, if I put something behind it, you can kind of barely see what is in there. So I looked this up, and it's called phase separation, and the ethanol and the water start breaking apart makes it terrible but this truck wouldn't even start so we'll see hopefully we'll put that new fuel and we'll be tip top magoo and we'll send this out back to the farm be back okay <clears throat> we're here 
We're trying to take off this sandbar carburetor. We got it cleaned up quite a bit. This is the same mildew truck. I drained out the fuel and then I ended up adding fuel and then draining it more because it was bad and I replaced the fuel filter which I'd already replaced the fuel filter so two fuel filters just as a precaution and then I took the carb off already and cleaned it all out but I put the wrong bolt in one of the side pieces so we're gonna take it all off but if you need to know this is your fuel inlet and then this is the fuel return and then the rest of the stuff is pretty straightforward like you can see this one will fold down and it's just a vent for there uh, I'll show you this one actually goes underneath if you can see that I might have to move you. there's a little barb on the bottom right there that's where that goes those three pieces you can see those go there Everything else is pretty straightforward on the top. Take a couple pictures. Uh, and then you've got these two bolts is what's holding everything on. 14 millimeter. There is a little harness here. And we're going to, we disconnected that already. And it's just a little pin. And this, that's how it is. So I'm going to see if I got this loose enough in a spot. Not quite. I'm gonna have to wrench on this a little bit while you're here. And then the whole assembly just is mounted with these two bolts. Kind of interesting. But there's no weight uh, in the front, but maybe that's pretty common. Okay. Just got these little lock washers. Don't want to lose those. And I'll show you what ended up being the problem. I think it was that issue on the fire truck. I don't know if I filmed it, but this valve right here, and I had to back this up. So it's a set screw and it was just too far down. And what happens, it really wasn't even idling, but anytime you would give it throttle, it would bog down. I've had this problem before with other people's trucks. So they give you that little adjustment and it opens a little door on the inside. This one had a uh, terrible gum in the carburetor too. It was actually gummed up and wasn't flowing fuel. So we got that fixed. One thing I'm really nervous about, let me show you this real quick is this throttle linkage is frayed. And I guess it's got us do a couple more things holding it on, but it doesn't seem like a way to replace just that piece. I mean, maybe you could bolt something on there, hopefully. But uh, fortunately we don't have to worry about that, but maybe something in the future. set this down we'll try to do it one-handed to have everything disconnected I hope okay, here we go all right so there's our carb let me get you a spot we can work over here so I can show you some of the different pieces but this is your bowl section and usually that's gonna be where it's clogged and then this is gonna be like a, some sort of boost, accelerator pump, this is like a choke here, some, uh, these are got, I forget the diaphragms. Okay, so let's keep a look around. A couple screw holes. Let's see what else is happening. Okay, this is some sort of other adjustment, but I've never had to do anything over there. And then it does have a rubber seal on the gasket. 
keep water getting in there. Let's see where that piece is. Hopefully we didn't lose it. The last time it was attached on there. Now I don't see it, so. Oh, there it is. So, we, hmm. That one's pretty squished. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I need to get this bolt though. Okay, so I've got to get a Phillips head and then get these pieces that I misplaced. I put the wrong screw in actually. So I'm gonna see which what I have over here. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs> 